Hi and welcome to the Nordic Watch channel. Today, a quick video on how to wear your watch on a NATO strap in four different ways. Now, two of these ways are going to be really traditional ways of wearing the strap. And then two of these ways are going to be a bit more tricky ways to wear it in a way that makes the watch sit uh, slimmer on the wrist. So starting off with the traditional ways and then moving on to the trickier ones. Now, what you're going to need is just your watch equipped with spring bars uh, and a NATO strap. You don't need any tools for this, so it's really easy. Starting off with the traditional way of wearing a NATO strap, you're going to take the long end of the strap, thread it through the 12 and 6 o'clock position like so. Then we have the extra bit of strap underneath, just thread the strap through the loop and now you can uh, position your watch pretty much in the middle of these loops here or if you like you can put it more towards the top or the bottom. Try it and find out what you like the most. Now all we have to do is put it on the wrist like so Tighten it up, thread the excess through these two loops and now just fold the excess piece of the strap and tuck it in like so. And that is your traditional way of wearing your NATO strap. Now that what some people consider a problem with this is that they like this look otherwise but the way the nato strap makes the watch elevate from the wrist like so because there are two layers of nylon underneath uh, the watch actually is elevated like maybe five millimeters or so so it makes the watch sit a bit larger on the wrist and not everybody likes that so that's why the two last ways of wearing the strap but now the second way is going to be the exact same way but just putting on the watch backwards if you were so i'm not going to show you how to do it you just thread it through the other way but i'm going to show you how that looks there we go so now we have the strap on backwards um, so exactly the same but all the excess is on this side and in that way it looks nicer on the outside to other people but maybe it might bug you a bit to see this piece of the strap here. And still it is elevated like so. Now we're going to look at two ways of having the watch sit closer down to the wrist. So the first way of wearing it uh, in a slimmed way, uh, we're going to start off the same way as with the first method. So the long part of the strap is threaded through the spring bars. But now, instead of putting this excess piece of strap underneath the case, we're going to leave it on this side. Now I have a weird flag here that's going to be in the way. I should probably cut that out of this strap, but um, still, we're going to keep the case close to the loops here. And now, instead of uh, putting it underneath, we're going to leave it on this side. So. Now we're just going to take the strap, thread it through the first loop, leaving this excess part underneath the wrist instead of underneath the watch, and then threading through the buckle. Oops. Like so. And now just as in the first method, Threading the loops and tucking in the excess. Well, that's difficult with gloves on, so uh, I'm just going to do it this other way around. But normally I would tuck it the inner way, not this outer way. But for the sake of making this video smoother, there we go. So now, as you can see, once we have only one layer of nylon underneath the watch, it sits a lot nicer down on the wrist. 
uh, but if you still like the kind of classic look of an ADO strap in a way that you have this excess part of the strap here, then uh, this is the way to go. Uh, of course, you could also buy a single pass NATO strap, which doesn't have this excess part at all. And you get this fit every time without the fiddling with the strap. But uh, the nice thing with these different ways of wearing this NATO strap is that you can buy one NATO strap and wear it in so many different ways. So that's the way to go, in my opinion. That way you can put a little bit more money on one good NATO strap and you don't end up with 100 of them like I have in my drawer and I never use them. Okay, so now moving on to the last method and that is going to hide this uh, excess part here underneath the wrist. So let's get to that. Now this is essentially going to be the same method as the previous one. We're just going to place the watch uh, differently on the strap to start with because we don't want the excess to be showing here on the wrist so we want to move it underneath the wrist and that's why we move the watch more towards the middle of the strap a good rule of thumb is to have have this loop here align approximately with the middle of the case back that should give you a good uh, approximation and then you can work from there now we're going to do it the same way, so what we're going to do is thread the strap through the loop and the buckle. Because I have a pretty long NATO strap here, I can do it this way, that I have threaded them already. And now I just pull it tight. and tuck in the excess as always. And there we go. Easy, right? So now, as you can see, it sits nice and close to the wrist and we don't have any excess showing anywhere. It's all underneath the wrist here and it actually is making a nice cushion for our wrist if we're resting it on the table, believe me. Uh, this is a super comfortable way of wearing an ADO strap and it makes it look really sleek. Um, you could of course get a um, two-piece NATO strap, but that will leave a gap between your uh, end of the strap and the watch case. This way you can't see any skin uh, showing between the lugs. So really nice way of wearing your NATO strap, um, but of course all four of these are nice and different ways. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a like. Drop a comment down below, I always answer. If you're interested, uh, go check me out on Instagram at Nordic Watch Channel. Um, subscribe to the channel and um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a future video. Bye bye.